special edition of Power Play from the select dugout here. And I have a very special guest with me. Half the contingent of the Aussie team in the dugout is here with me. I have Damien Fleming, Dean Jones, and Brad Hogg. Hi, guys. Thanks Hi, for joining us. So I have to say, Aussie-dominated team here as well. Do you guys gang up against the rest of the nations and, you know, pull their leg constantly? Not us Aussies. We're about inclusivity and we're just looking after everyone there. Although the English commentators, Michael Vaughan and Nasser Hussain, how do we go with them? Oh, we don't do well. Um, uh, they constantly remind us of the fact that India and England have won T20 World Cups, mm -hmm. uh, but and we've won five World Cups in ODIs. We try to remind them of that yeah. fact. So there's a lot of a lot of byplay between the two. And we're just trying to educate Scotty Styrus that there is more, there are more players than Williamson from the Sunrisers Hyderabad. He just absolutely <laughs> loves him. I don't think. Yeah, he does. I must ask, who's the most fun? Who's the most energetic in the dugout? Well, we're captained by an inspirational man who has got so much energy, and it's Brad Hogg. Yeah, that's absolutely. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Flem's quite funny. He's quite humorous. Uh, what we hear behind the scenes from the dugout, the many stories, uh, he makes us laugh and he keeps us ticking over, especially when things are tight. And do you know he's the stats man? But tell me some of that. What happens behind the scenes? You know, when they cut yeah. to you, we see you guys rolling out the statistics, but what happens behind the scenes? Uh, we just generally chat about uh, past careers and how the game's evolved and, mm -hmm. and the funny stories that have come through. And uh, we can't really repeat them, otherwise we would bring them to air. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we, we try and uh, make it a, a, a P sort of program. That's the, that's the right word. Oh, G. G. Yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> that well, boy's the skipper. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dean, I have to ask you, what is the story of your Red Book? Everyone's mm. talking about it. Please, what is it? Well, I, I, I love stats and I love, you know, sometime I might have to go to astronomy as well soon uh, to start to learn. It'll be a different coloured book. Uh, to go on there as well. Um, so, and numerology, I'm certain there'll be another book as well uh, coming through. Look, I, I'd love something a little bit different. These guys have got wonderful opinions. And Describe the Red Book, though. But the Red Book's got <laughs> all the weaknesses and strengths of opposition teams, where to bowl to certain players, uh, how to play to Rashid Khan, where do you bowl to Chris Gale, MS Dhoni, where do, what lines and lengths, and all that type of stuff. How much is this book available for? What's yeah, the price? Yeah, what's the what, price? What's the price? Well, I'm going to tell you, it's. It's been stolen. What? It's been stolen, and I've seen a photo on social media. On, uh, it's got its own Twitter uh, handle. Yes. Dino's yes. stolen book. And, and it's already got messages for a million dollars ransom. Uh, yeah. so, have, have you filed a missing yeah. report already for it? Well, I've got a feeling that these two gentlemen no. have had some say in it. Honestly, I do. I've had Rashi Khan start. And he rang me last night and said, please don't. How many IPL coaches have contacted you about this book? Be honest. Two. Two. There Name you go. them. No, I'm not going to say because obviously they're looking for little things. Well, yeah. one's Australian. Yeah. So okay. do the math. <laughs> so it's Ricky Ponting or Brad Hodge. Yeah, yeah. there you go. <laughs> Probably Hodgey. Seriously, have you got all those stats in there? That book is full. It's pretty well full, and I, I have it for a lot of teams also around the world, etc. But and there's also trends on certain things that, that go along, and also I write down what I should be having for dinner and, and all that type of stuff as well. So it's, so it's your personal diary, come mm. statistical book. It's absolutely everything, and it's a lovely colour, isn't it? Yeah. Red is a lovely colour. And uh, are it, they all written? Do, uh, do you type it all and then print it out there? I mean, because that's a lot of work to write down all those those stats. Well, and, well, and let's be honest, your handwriting isn't great. I can't read it. So. And so, the thing is, it's a planning book as well. It? Have you seen and it? Have you seen it? How do you I've know? I've seen inside how it. Oh. 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 I think we have a suspect oh. here. Yes. We have a suspect oh, yeah. here. But the thing is, he's been late for the cars every morning. yesterday. 4.52 p.m. yesterday mm. when he lodged the report at Stolen. Where were you? Where were you? 4.52. Where Bad was alibi. I? No, I was in the office with the boss. He was giving me a ribbing. Doesn't seem very convincing, does it? I think we've managed to crack this case on live television here. We have got something to do with it, these boys. There's no <laughs> doubt about it. Mainly hear me. He's actually read it. My, my handwriting yeah, is a bit like a up? doctor. Oh. So it's all over the place. And actually, you pointed it out as well. So, look, it's a little but bit I of fun. I played with you, so I'd know how many yeah, bats. Yeah. And he used to sign them always up the top there. Yeah, because that's you were a fine you batsman. But <laughs> I, that's where I saw your right. See, this is the stuff that goes in the select dugout. It really is. And, and just to let you know, we prepare three to four hours before 
every day's play to actually work out exactly every player, where they're born, the who's their mum and dad, yep. all the matchups for the match, absolutely everything coming into the game. Well, let's come to the game itself. You know, we're in the 11th edition of the IPL. When it first started, when T20 first started, everyone said, you know, this is the death knell of test cricket. This mm. is, you know, one day is probably aren't going to be as fun. But we've seen all three formats coexisting really well. And, you know, test cricket have, has become more result-oriented as well, if you notice the general trend. So do you think all the obituaries were a bit premature? Well, I'm a big music fan, big rock music fan. You know, you give me Pearl Jam, Nirvana, Iron Maiden, those type of rock bands I love. Now, I limit those three forms of the game a bit to music. So mm -hmm. test cricket is like the old vinyl. Do you know what I mean? It's traditional, we love it, and definitely coming back in fashion. The one day international, it's like a CD, mm -hmm. right? If you ask your kids now what a CD is, they don't even know it. It's been superseded by a younger, more cool um, product, and that's streaming. Yeah. So T20 cricket is like streaming uh, a song down there. It's quick, uh, it's satisfying, and has good impact. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts? I've got no idea how what music's got to do with cricket, but that I've actually and like the it. Foo Fighters as well. There you go. And my first ever record, I think, yeah, was, was Deep it? Purple. Yeah. A smoke yep. coming. Sm uh, smoke coming on water. Isn't no, it? no. Smoke, under the smoke water. on the on water. Oh my God! Yeah, it's the easiest guitar <laughs> riff of all time. I think time. both got it wrong there. <laughs> one of, one of them. What was your first uh, my CD first, or record? Harry and the Hermits. I just love how this conversation is <laughs> completely, and, uh, completely. Uh, what was that? Harry? It is their uniform. <laughs> Harry and the back in this exclusive for you. Uh, Harry, if you're watching, the thing with, the thing with uh, Test Cricket, you look at someone like a Pajara. Now, if he came on the scene around about the Tendulkar era when mm -hmm. it was just Test Cricket and one day, he'd be an absolute legend and we'd yeah. be all talking about how great that particular player is, even Alistair Cook. Mm -hmm. So T20 Cricket has really sort of diluted Test Cricket in a, in a sense with sure. the, the legends. And it's sad to see someone like Pujara not playing in the T20 Cricket. He's mm -hmm. concentrating on the longer form. And uh, it's, it's great to see those slow batsmen or those batsmen who like to take their time still applying themselves in Test Cricket. So still, Test Cricket's still got a lot uh, to offer as well. Mm -hmm. But just a quick word, you have a lot of youngsters coming into the IPL and there's a lot of pressure on them, a lot of spotlight. What advice would you have to them and how do they, you have a lot of them performing very well in the IPL and then when they make it to the National League or sometimes they really don't even make that cut to the national squad. So what would your advice be to them? Uh, my advice would don't forget where you came from. Uh, keep your, your feet on the ground. Don't get too far ahead of yourself because... <laughs> You know, there's a lot of buzz around the IPL, and if you do go out and have a couple of good games, everyone's talking about you. The media's talking about you. Yeah. All right, right. I'm go I'm going well. I'm a good player, but don't think you're better than what you are because this game can change like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, I, I, I think, number one, if you get selected, say, for the Mumbai Indians, hypothetically, that they like what they see already, so don't change too much. Yeah. This is what they brought. They like that. Uh, number two, if you're playing in Wenkati Stadium and you've got 50,000 people and you've got star sports all over you and watching everything, you've got commentators like us calling the... You've just got to think... It's an, I know it's really difficult, but you've got to think it's just another game playing back at home. You, bowlers still bowl bad balls. Mm -hmm. Bowlers still bowl a length ball that you can hit it for four. And often you'll actually see that the grounds are actually better than what you've ever played on them before. Mm -hmm. So, and again, uh, 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 it's the simple things. Get your head to the ball, get your foot to the ball, your hands to the ball and hit it. And, and, and if you can keep it as simple as that and have some fun, mm -hmm. work hard, work hard, you've got half a chance of making it. Yeah. One quick question to both of you. If you could play IPL, which team would you pick? Which team would you like to play for? Oh, jeez. Yep. Um, and I'm not a money person, but who would pay me the most money? Have you got a bit of an idea of who No, we're not be? getting into the money. We no, just like, you can, just, <laughs> you can set your own... You, you can set your own... You could be my manager. You can just you, set your own... Who has got the most money? I'll play for the... You can just right set now. your own ballpark figure and pick a team. Well, a little bit of me time. I did get a five-wicket haul in a World Cup game against India in 1996 at Wankhede Stadium. Mm -hmm. So get me there. Sure. Get so me Mumbai there. Indians is your pick? I'm going Mumbai Indians. Yeah, okay. Dean? I don't have a favourite because mm. I'm a professor and I don't want to have any emotions at all to, attached to a team. Emotionless. So He's our Clint Eastwood. That's it. So I just want to actually just play, the, play it as a C. Um, I like all the teams Boring. and and I have... Oh, ring. I, I know, and I have an ability to change my mind. We won't be and talking like that in the dugout. <laughs> We're going up. Yeah. 
In those last two questions, he just talked about Mumbai, well, Wayne Cody Stadium. He talked about Mumbai Indians. I think they've both been down there with the Rod Red Book. I think Joe <laughs> Warden has got it. No, I really, I don't think you can, you know, no, you can't, no, that's not, we're not buying that anymore. <laughs> so you've actually played the IPL though, and how do you think AKR is shaping up under Dinesh Karthik? Uh, look, I think they're shaping up pretty well, but they don't have much depth. Uh, we know that they've got a very thin list, and mm -hmm. if they have an injury, another injury to, to one of their overseas quicks, they're going to be in a lot of trouble. Um, and they're looking for that fifth quick. Vinay Kumar has v struggled in that power play and the death overs. Uh, they need another option, and I hope they go again with Mavi tonight. Okay, so we spoke about the youngsters, but we also have people like Dhoni and Chris Gale coming through big time. So is this whole idea that IPL is all, you know, all about the youngsters and you still have the older players proving their, you know, strengths in the game? Well, it's starting to actually show that some of the old guys actually play a bit better than the younger guys uh, in general. And, and that's because um, they're used to all the lights, the action, playing in front of massive crowds. So that's number one. So they're at ease in their environment. Number two, they know their game's inside out. Mm -hmm. um, and, and also, they're not too stressed at all. And also, they, sometimes it's nothing better to work with a young player and say, now, come on, follow me, just work with me, sit in my shadow, and we'll, we'll see how things go. So they actually enjoy being here. And, and the fact that, let's be honest, the wonderful money that they're starting to earn these boys, they like, need to keep themselves super fit now than probably what happened in back in my day at the end of their careers. Um, and it's another avenue for them to, to go out there and express, uh, express themselves, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think, I think age doesn't matter. If you look at the IPL, there's been a couple of 40-year-olds. How old are you, mate? 47. <laughs> but uh, Tam Bay from uh, Rajasthan Royals, he had a couple of good years bowling those leg spinners, and I think Rajasthan Royals have gone for Saxon, I think his name mm -hmm. is, a 35-year-old that has played limited first-class cricket, and they've backed him uh, to do the job at some stage in this tournament with leg spin. So, um, you know, it's just not a young man's game. It's an, old man, it's an older man's game as well, as long as you keep your fit and you've got to keep enjoying it. just want to add in a clause there and we often see it in TV shows and, and ads you know there's a clause at the end on there when Brad said it's an older man's game we need a clause underneath that he's still aspiring to play till he's 50 so that was actually a job interview right there. <laughs> well, right there. We can see what we'll see Thanks what we can available. do. <laughs> we'll put out a request to all the teams and see if they're willing to give <laughs> you another shot. Ball, you know, yeah. well, did, you see the, did you see the ball I bowled to Scott Storis the other day it went way down leg so uh, yeah it was a seamer. Yeah. <laughs> this is the rubbish that we do every day. We're gonna, <laughs> and we get paid for this. This is really cool. Well, I'm glad you guys. <laughs> Who's the leader of the rubbish, Dino? <laughs> <laughs> well done. Finally got a shot. Right, well done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm just going to ask you one last question. Um, you're going to have to stick your neck out and pick who's going to win this year. I'm going um, Sunrisers. Okay. I just think they've got that bowling unit that can uh, help defend any total. Okay. Uh, I'm going to rearrange the question. I think Sunrisers oh, will boy. make the final with Delhi. Or whoever wins on the day, anything can happen. But I think those two will get in. But you're not going to stick your neck out and... No, I'm not going to be a giraffe or a turtle. No. <laughs> no. Okay, well, Brad? that's the first time he hasn't stuck the neck out. <laughs> so I'm going to rearrange the question again. And uh, I'm going for Sunrisers Hyderabad like no, them. No, I did that. You, you, can you, you do two? Or does he have to do a different well, one? Well, I've already said Sunrisers. What about KKR? You played for well, him. Your heart's there. What's wrong with no, them? Why wouldn't you pick KKR? <laughs> Look, I can't answer two. My heart is with KKR, all right? But I'm looking at the teams on paper and Sunrise's Hyderabad have got the best team on paper. So, so you're emotionally involved. <laughs> so that's the reason why you don't support a team. There's the headline. Hogg says KKR, no chance. Well, thanks for the headline, Fleming, brother Brad. No, no, Fleming <laughs> Sunrise. So. Thanks, Moods. Tommy well, Moods, coach. <laughs> Australian. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you have no well, idea what's happening, do you? No, I'm just... Either I, just I, a dugout. I, I, you know, I'm just Doing a very good thing. job. <laughs> Did you just see that? The Australian slang trying to override me and trying to j just get me in my uncomfortable zone. I thought you'd do so. this oh, to yeah, the Englishman. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> 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 well, good, thank good, you, gentlemen. Good luck with this throw, too. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. taking some notes here. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, gentlemen. This has been a lot of fun. I can see why you have so much fun in the dugout.